Lizards in your garden. How to identify depending on where you live, your backyard is likely home to a diverse array of many unique types of plants, fungi, and animals. Some of the most common visitors you've likely noticed in your garden are various kinds of lizards, both big and small. However, if you don't know what exact species your reptilian guests belong to, you may be hesitant about feeding, interacting with, or allowing them to continue living in your space. Alternatively, you may want to better understand the lizards so you know how to better accommodate them. After all, many species are beneficial to have around and eat various insect pests. Common garden skink These unassuming little brown lizards seem to be everywhere. Their geographical range extends from Australia all the way to parts of India, South Africa, and even much of the United States. It's even been found in parts of Eastern and Western Europe, so it's safe to say the common garden skink is here to stay in our gardens. These small yet hardy lizards have the typical skink body shape, from their narrow snouts and slender bodies to their long tails and teeny tiny claws. They are typically drab, uniform brown in color, with two darker stripes extending down the sides of the head, neck, and body. Some individuals may have a more reddish or auburn color around their heads and necks. Spotting and identifying a garden skink can be difficult. They blend in well with foliage and are only around 4 to 5 inches long. Thankfully, the common garden skink is a welcome addition to most gardens. This is because although they are omnivores, they prefer feeding on various small insect and invertebrate pests. Still, if you want to offer them some fruit from time to time, they definitely won't turn it down. Oriental Garden Lizard The Oriental Garden Lizard is another species that, thanks to humans, has an absolutely massive geographical range. Though they are native to much of the Middle East and Asia, they've also been introduced to other parts of the world like the US and Australia. Today, they're commonly spotted in both rural and urban areas alike thanks to their adaptable, hardy nature. They've even become popular in the pet trade. These handsome agamid lizards have narrow, pointed snouts and a row of prominent spines extending from the base of the neck down to the base of the tail. The spines are most visible near the neck and get much smaller towards the tail. Their tails are extremely long and thin and make up much of their total body length. If measured from snout to tail tip, they can reach lengths of 15 plus inches. From snout to vent, however, adult oriental garden lizards are usually only around 4 to 6 inches long. Oriental garden lizards vary in color from grayish orange to yellowish brown. Males typically develop a bright orange or red head and neck coloration during the lizard's breeding season. Tropical house gecko The tropical house gecko thrives in warm, humid conditions. Though they're originally native to sub-Saharan Africa, they've since spread to the Americas and parts of the Caribbean islands. Nowadays, they're commonly spotted in homes and gardens throughout these regions, chowing down on any little insects and invertebrates they can find. These little geckos range from around 4 to 6 inches in length and are mostly a mottled brown color. Since they are nocturnal, they've evolved to develop very large, protruding eyes to help them capture prey at night. It is capable of changing color from light to dark brown to better blend in with surrounding foliage when needed. Tropical house geckos are perhaps most recognizable due to their unique vocalizations. These vary from short chirps to loud, shrill squeaking or even high-pitched, barking, sounds. If you see one of these wide-eyed geckos in your home or garden, consider keeping them around, as they are harmless to humans, non-aggressive, and can help to control insect pest populations. Some traditional Caribbean cultures even consider them to be good luck.